So let's say you're troubleshooting a weird engine noise in the front of your old Mercedes diesel engine and you just can't find it. It's Maybe it's a squealing, clicking, ticking, clanging noise. Before you panic, you want to make sure it's not something in the front accessory section of the engine. And this is going to take some detective work and I just want to show you a few things on this engine because I had a really weird noise before I pulled this engine. The engine was running great but it was going Clink, 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 clink. just a little teeny, teeny kind of ticking noise. It, I knew it wasn't fuel injectors. I, I checked the camshaft, but now I'm going to look closely at the front of the engine and all these accessories, and I'll just point out quickly some of the things that can cause weird engine noises. Of course, you're going to have to remove the V-belts. Here's a little tip. If your engine is running, pour water on your V-belts while it's running. If the noise goes away, it's probably the belt making noise. But if the noise doesn't go away after pouring water on all your belts while the engine's running, then there's probably some accessory or something in the front of the engine that might be making noise. The first thing, of course, is check this AC pump clutch. They tend to wear out because they're constantly spinning. And even if it's not engaging, you may wear out the bearings in the clutch and it'll start to rattle and make noise. Of course, the water pump can make noise. Once it loosens up, you know, it'll start to rattle. So you can reach down in here and actually lift on this. Make sure the water pump is tight. If you have a wagon with an SLS hydraulic pump like this, this pump could be making noise. The shaft could be worn out. I've already taken this apart. The shaft and bearings are fine in the SLS pump. So that's not the problem here. The other thing you want to really look closely at is the main bolt that holds this pulley and counterbalance onto the front of the crank and loosen up and this can start moving and clanking. So you want to reach down and you can see this is tight and of course there's always the alternator and it's not just the bearings in the alternator you want to check. A lot of times these fins for the cooling fan will get bent or damaged and they'll be ticking against the side of the housing so be sure and check that. Get the belts off and give that alternator a good spin. So those are just a few of things you want to check, of course. Your vacuum pump could be making noise internally. You could have a problem with the bearing or the springs in the pump. I've already removed the pump and that's in good condition. So I just wanted to share with you some of the things you want to check if you're trying to isolate, troubleshoot a noise in the front of your old diesel. Now in the next part in this series, I'm going to show you, you might be surprised what it turns out to be, but this is one of my strongest alerts for you owners of older diesel engines, particularly the OM617 turbo diesel engine. So I'll put a link in the show more below this video that'll take you to the next one in this series.